Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com the fifth week of May 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Actress Marlene Clark died May 18, 2023, at the age of 73. She starred in such movies as Ganja and Hess, Night of the Cobra Woman, and Slaughter. Clark is also being remembered for her TV role on Sanford and Son as Janet Lawson, Lamont's fiancé. A note to remember, sometimes personal information, such as someone's cause of death, is not announced immediately or publicly at all by their family or the authorities. Every family has a right to their privacy. Actor and singer Ed Ames died May 21, 2023 at his home in Los Angeles. He died of Alzheimer's disease at the age of 95. He played Mingo on the 1960s TV western Daniel Boone. Ames is also being remembered for his singing career with the Ames Brothers and as a solo artist. His hit songs included My Cup Runneth Over and When the Snow is on the Roses. Toy designer Mark Boudreau died May 14, 2023 in Sharonville, Ohio. He died of complications related to COVID-19 at the age of 68. He created the original Millennium Falcon playset and many other Star Wars toys for more than four decades. Boudreau is also being remembered for designing toys for Batman, Jurassic Park, Ghostbusters, and other movies. U.S. Air Force pilot Brian Shule died May 20, 2023 in Reno, Nevada. He died of cardiac arrest at the age of 75. Shule was a veteran of the Vietnam War, where he survived a harrowing experience. In 1973, his plane was shot down near the Cambodian border and he was badly burned in the fireball. His story of surviving the crash and evading capture in the jungle has become legendary. Shul is being remembered for going on to pilot the SR-71 Blackbird, one of the most iconic aircraft in history. Actress Samantha Weinstein died May 14, 2023 at a hospital in Toronto. She died of ovarian cancer at the age of 28. She starred in Jesus Henry Christ and appeared in the 2013 remake of Carrie. She also voice acted in cartoons like Babar and the Adventures of Badu. Weinstein is also being remembered for the thoughtful writing she shared in the last year of her life about coming to terms with both her cancer diagnosis and her non-binary gender as a young adult in her 20s. Actor and screenwriter Michael Norrell died May 12, 2023, in Huntingdon, Pennsylvania, at the age of 85. He starred as Captain Hank Stanley in the 1970s TV drama Emergency. Norrell is also being remembered for writing episodes of Emergency, as well as writing for The Love Boat, Nash Bridges, and other shows. Musician Isaac Red Holt died May 23, 2023, in Chicago. He died after fighting cancer at the age of 91. He was the drummer for the Ramsey Lewis Trio, who won a Grammy Award for their hit record, The In Crowd. He is also being remembered as a member of Young Holt Unlimited, whose hit Soulful Strut has been widely sampled in hip-hop. Holt was a U.S. Army veteran. Magician Milt Larson died May 28, 2023, in Los Angeles. He died of natural causes at the age of 92. He was a co-founder of the Magic Castle, a private club for magicians and the clubhouse for the Academy of Magical Arts. Larson is being remembered for creating a space for magicians to gather, where featured performers included Steve Martin and Orson Welles. Stuntman and actor Gary Kent died May 25, 2023, in Austin, Texas, at the age of 89. 
He acted and did stunts in many movies throughout the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. He was Jack Nicholson's stunt double in Ride in the Whirlwind and The Shooting. He is being remembered as an inspiration for Brad Pitt's character, Cliff Booth, in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Kent was a U.S. Navy veteran whose duties included writing publicity for the Blue Angels. Tribal leader Katherine Harrison died May 21, 2023, at the age of 99. She was a member of Oregon's Grand Ronde tribe, where she became the first woman to chair the tribal council. Harrison is being remembered for successfully advocating for the tribe to regain its federal recognition three decades after it was removed. Actor John Beasley died May 30, 2023 at a hospital in Omaha, Nebraska at the age of 79. He was known for his performances in movies like Rudy and the Mighty Ducks. Beasley is also being remembered for playing bus driver Irv Harper on TV's Everwood. Actor Michelle Cote died May 29, 2023, after a lengthy illness at the age of 72. He was a star of the Quebec film industry, known for movies like Cruising Bar and C-R-A-Z-Y. Cote is also being remembered for starring in the TV crime drama Omerta. Actor Sergio Calderon died May 31, 2023 at a hospital in Los Angeles. He died of natural causes at the age of 77. The Mexican character actor had an unusual role in the original Men in Black, playing a head on a stick. Calderon is also being remembered for roles in Pirates of the Caribbean 3 at World's End, Duck You Sucker, The In-Laws, and many more. Virologist Harold Zurhausen died May 29, 2023 at the age of 87. He discovered that the HPV virus can cause cervical cancer. He was honored with the 2008 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for his breakthrough. Zurhausen is being remembered for his groundbreaking efforts to help prevent a deadly cancer. Actor and singer George Maharis died May 24, 2023, at his home in Beverly Hills, California, at the age of 94. He starred on the 1960s TV show Route 66 as Buzz Murdoch, half of a duo of young men traveling the U.S. in search of adventure. He is also being remembered for his hit single, Teach Me Tonight, as well as for movies like The Satan Bug and The Desperados. Maharis was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of this week's anniversaries. Ten years ago this week, actress Jean Stapleton died at the age of 90. She won three Emmy Awards and two Golden Globes for her performance on All in the Family as Edith Bunker. Thirteen years ago this week, actor Gary Coleman died at the age of 42. He was one of the greatest child stars of all time as the star of the TV sitcom Different Strokes. Fifteen years ago this week, actor and comedian Harvey Corman died at the age of 81. He was one of the hilarious stars of The Carol Burnett Show and appeared in movies like Blazing Saddles and High Anxiety. Fifteen years ago this week, musician Bo Diddley died at the age of 79. His songs like Who Do You Love and I'm a Man were a driving force behind the development of rock and roll. Twenty-five years ago this week, comedian and actor Phil Hartman died at the age of 49. He was a cast member of Saturday Night Live, starred on the sitcom News Radio, and voiced characters on The Simpsons. Fifty-two years ago this week, U.S. Army veteran and actor Audie Murphy died at the age of 45. 
He was one of the most decorated soldiers of World War II, renowned for his valor, and he went on to a 20-year acting career. Musician John Bonham was born 75 years ago this week. He died in 1980 at the age of 32. He was the drummer for Led Zeppelin and widely considered one of the greatest drummers in rock history. Football player Gail Sayers was born 80 years ago this week. He died in 2020 at the age of 77. He was a Hall of Fame halfback for the Chicago Bears, and the story of his friendship with teammate Brian Piccolo was made into the beloved movie Brian's Song. Actress Marilyn Monroe was born 97 years ago this week. She died in 1962 at the age of 36. She was a movie legend who starred in The Seven Year Itch, Some Like It Hot, and many more. Comedian and actor Bob Hope was born 120 years ago this week. He died in 2003 at the age of 100. He starred in dozens of films and spent 50 years traveling with the USO to entertain U.S. troops around the world. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags across the United States have been lowered in honor of Memorial Day. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Navy Seaman 2nd Class David Joseph Riley, who died in the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941. His remains were recently identified and returned home for burial. Flags in Kentucky have been lowered to honor the memory of U.S. Army Staff Sergeant Joshua Caleb Gore, who died in the Black Hawk helicopter crash near Fort Campbell in March. Flags in Kentucky have also been lowered to honor the memory of Scott County Deputy Sheriff Caleb Conley, who died in the line of duty. Flags in South Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of Chief Luther T. Reynolds of the Charleston Police Department. Flags in South Carolina have also been lowered to honor the memory of firefighter James Michael Muller of the Irmo Fire District, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Indiana have been lowered to honor the memory of Randolph County Volunteer Firefighter Kyle Osgood. Flags in Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of the victims of the 2019 shooting at the Virginia Beach Municipal Center. Last week, our channel published a video honoring five memorable World War II veterans. If you have a World War II veteran in your own family history, the National World War II Museum has made it possible to honor their service forever by dedicating a personalized brick with their name on it to be permanently displayed on the museum's campus. To find out more, just type the web address displayed on screen into your web browser. Also, in honor of the recent Memorial Day holiday, any of our viewers can help support the National World War II Museum by making a charitable donation of any size through this YouTube video. Just click the Donate button on this video's YouTube page. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.